lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. Welcome to day 25 of Yoganary. I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you've missed any of the previous classes, I'll drop a link over here to the Yoganary playlist. So day 25 is going to be a shortened version of yoga before bed. So it's going to be a de-stressing, relaxing little practice you can do before going into bed or if you just need to relax and chill out a little bit. Right, without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start off with our lovely cat and cow stretches. So we're going to come on down to our mat. So as always with our cats and cows, we want our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. So starting off with our lovely cat, so we're tucking our bottom under, head under, chin under, really squeeze your hands against the mat and look in towards your tummy. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and our lovely cow stretch, so bottom up, head up, chin up, really squeeze your bottom glutes up to the ceiling for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, another cat stretch, so bottom under, head under, chin under, really squeeze your hands against the mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, another cow stretch, bottom up, head up, chin up, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring your spine back to neutral here, we're just going to take the right foot behind us, and we're going to really squeeze that right heel back, so we're working the hamstring here, a lot of people suffer with restless legs at night, they should relax them out, staying there, for ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swap on over, taking that left foot back so really squeeze, squeeze the heel away from you for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take those knees together. We're taking the knees nice and wide here, sinking our bottom back down in between the heels. We're popping the arms out in front and simply resting our forehead on our mat. Nice deep breaths. Let's just let your bottom sink down, let gravity do the work here. Staying there, another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Use your hands to push yourself back up. We're going to bring those knees together into child's pose, sink your bottom down on the heel. And yet again, just come forward and down, resting our forehead on your hands or your mat, whatever's comfortable for you. So nice and slowly pull your tummy in. We're just uncurling. We build that spine up, we come. Once you're up to seated, give your shoulders a lovely roll. Back and down, well done. So we're just gonna place the hands behind our feet now. And then we're simply raising our bottom up, raising our bottom up. Really squeeze the hands into the mat for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down, well done. So we're coming back onto our hands and our knees. Yet again, please ensure that your knees are underneath your hips and your hands underneath the shoulders. So all we're doing here is we're taking our right arm and we're threading it through underneath the left, resting the right side of your face on your mat. Lovely twist for the spine, staying there. Then turn, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, push yourself back up. So going the other way now, so left arm threads under the right, left arm threads under the right, placing your left side of your face on your mat, looking to the right side, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done. Up we come to the hands and the knees. So a bit of a fun one here, we're just wiggling our bottom from side to side. This just loosens up our lower spine, lower lumbar part of the spine. If you wish here, you can move your head to the opposite way in which your bottom is going. It's just, it's lovely for the spine, lovely and restorative. 
Okay, so we're gonna bring ourselves back up to center. We're going to go into our lovely pigeon, which is one of my favorite warm down postures. So we're gonna tuck the toes under, we're gonna go into a downward dog first, and then we're going to extend the right leg up and we're swinging the right leg through under the left. Right leg through under the left, right knee to the right outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So your right heel is approximately where your left hip bone is. And down we come, just resting forehead on your hands or your mat. So it's a lovely stretch for piriformis glute and sciatic nerve here. So your body sink into your mat. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Up we come. Pop your hands back to the mat. We're taking that right leg back into a downward dog. And then we're going to swing the left leg through under the right. Left leg through under the right. So left knee to the left outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So that left heel is where your right hip bone is approximately. Then forward and down we come, just resting our forehead on our hands or our mat. Shouldn't be any knee pain here. And if you ever suffer from sciatica, this is the posture for you. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well done. Up you come, take that left leg back and then drop down to your knees into child's pose once more with your forehead on your hands. Okay, pull your tummy in nice and tight. Just uncurling, we build that spine. Once we're up to seated, giving the shoulders a lovely roll back and down. Whilst we're sat here, we're just gonna place our left hand behind us. The right hand is leaning on the left thigh and we're twisting over the left shoulder. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going round to the other side. So left hand is resting on that right thigh, right hand behind, twisting around, looking over your right shoulder. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. So it's a true relaxation style. For yoga before bed. So we're going to go lie with our legs up the wall and just relax there. Fantastic, this posture for your circulation. You don't have to do anything. Your bottom doesn't have to be perfect against the wall. Just get that blood flow down through the legs. And here we're just going to bring our attention, our focus back to our breath. So nice big inhale, exhale through your nostrils. It's important you're exhaling as much as you're inhaling, so count if you need to. Last couple of breaths. Okay, you can stay with the legs up the wall if you'd prefer. Otherwise, put your tummy and take those legs back down. So here we're simply bringing the feet close into the buttocks. We're crossing the right leg over the left leg, right leg over the left leg. And then simply dropping those knees to the left hand side, right arm goes out to the right and we're looking down our right arm. It's not imperative that these knees meet the floor, just try and keep your shoulder blade on the mat, your right shoulder blade for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, well done. Up we come, untangle those legs. So this time crossing the left leg over the right, left leg over the right, dropping those knees to the right hand side. Left arm goes out to the left and you're looking down your left arm. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, untangle the legs. We're going to bring the knees into the chest for a little hug, rocking gently from side to side. Fantastic for the spine and for those kidneys. And as always in your own time, there's no rush, either pushing yourself or rock yourself up to seated on your mat. 
So thank you very much for joining me for day five of Yoganuary for yoga before bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, drop me a comment down below and let me know how you're getting on with this month. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.